we live in a very different America uh, than than we did in 1969 when uh, when when, nice. when uh, most reliable, most beautiful, uh, most fun. I mean, I can vouch for that. I'll get to that in a second. Vehicle, um, and we owe them a deep uh, gratitude. And uh, the people who kept us safe today, who operated the vehicle, our trainers, everybody. It's just huge. Uh, I also want to thank the town of Van Horn. This is a small and amazing little town. Um, and, uh, you know, we're making a, a dent in it. And we appreciate you uh, for allowing us to be part of your town. And, uh, and then I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer. This you guys pay for this. So, seriously, for every Amazon customer out there, and every Amazon employee, thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. Uh, it's very appreciated. The new Shepherd Park blasted off with its crew, including Bezos' brother and the youngest and oldest people to have ever been into space. It's the first commercial flight for the tycoon Blue Origin Space Tourism Company. The capsule reached a height of around 100 kilometers above Earth, just on the edge of space. The passengers experienced about three minutes of being weightless. The capsule landed safely at T plus 10 minutes, and elated Jeff Bezos and crew emerged shortly after on the Texas launch site. He could be heard describing the trip as the best day ever. So Rob, just walk us through the events of the past 60 minutes. Well, uh, Peter, it was a pretty uh, exciting time for uh, people watching all around the world and, and for us here uh, to be able to see the contrail of the rockets uh, shooting straight up into the air was really an amazing sight. The uh, uh, blast off came after a couple of uh, delays, but uh, when it did come, it was uh, without incident. Uh, the uh, rocket uh, by Jeff, uh, that uh, has been developed by Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin Corporation with the uh, Shepard 2 capsule on top, uh, reached an altitude of about 100 kilometers above the Earth. Uh, the uh, speed of the uh, ascent was three times the speed of sound, Mach 3. So they were uh, really feeling the G-forces, I'm sure, as they were uh, strapped in uh, in uh, oh, that yeah, capsule. Then that the uh, booster rocket detached, uh, floated back to Earth where it uh, landed uh, intact. And after uh, several minutes of uh, weightlessness uh, and a lot of uh, shouting and gleeful uh, uh, noise from the uh, four passengers in the uh, fully automated capsule, it too began its descent uh, and uh, deployed its the parachutes landed uh, softly and uh, successfully in the test Texas desert and then we uh, are now waiting for a press conference by Jeff Bezos and the other uh, three uh, newly minted astronauts uh, which should take place in an hour or two from now we, we haven't been given an exact time for that event to take place but we will uh, certainly hear more from raw dog news